Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last year, back in September, I posted a video letting you know that Clipchamp had now replaced the legacy video editor as Windows 11's and Windows 10's default video editing app. Now, I'll leave that video down below if you would be interested. But just to let you know that with the latest update to the Photos app that I received today, the video editor now and all traces of the video editor have now finally been removed from Windows 10 and Windows 11 because when Microsoft replaced uh, the video editor with Clipchamp, if we just head to that video I did post last year in September, just to a relevant timestamp, here we can see that although they had replaced the video editor with Clipchamp, the video editor entry in the All Apps list in the Start menu was still available. And if you clicked on this, it would um, basically take you over to Clipchamp or to tell you or ask you to download Clipchamp from the Microsoft Store. Now, just to let you know that, as mentioned, it seems now that all traces of that video editor have been removed. So if we head to our All Apps list, and this applies to Windows 10 and Windows 11, and we head down to the alphabet where all the V entries are located, we can see now that the video editor, the entry has now been removed with the latest Photos app update, and I'm not seeing it anywhere else in the Start menu All Apps list on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And obviously, as mentioned, um, Microsoft now has finally replaced the video editor. All traces of it have been removed, and Microsoft Clipchamp now um, is, as I mentioned back in September, the default. and if you are not using Clipchamp as an example and you still want to use the old video editor, what you need to do is if you head to the new photos app and if we just scroll down to uh, the photos, there we go. So this is the new photos app. If you still want to use the video editor, it's actually quite easy to do. And if we head to our settings, you'll see here in the settings, uh, it's got Photos Legacy. And it says in the description, the prior Photos app is now called Photos Legacy and is available to download for free in the Microsoft Store. If you click on that, that obviously takes you over to the Microsoft Store. And it says in the description for the app, Photos Legacy is the app for Microsoft's legacy collections, albums, and video editor. So the video editor will still be available if you download Microsoft Photos Legacy as a standalone app but if you don't, I'm just letting you know that the latest update, which by the way, um, if we just head to the version, uh, is 2024.11.0.1.0.0.2.0. So that's the latest version. So this latest version to the Photos app, as mentioned, removes all traces of the video editor if you are looking for it. And obviously that means that if you... Um, don't want to use the new Clipchamp, you can head over to the Microsoft Store and download the Legacy Photos app separately where Video Editor will be included. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.